Hello everyone, this is Pastor Pena here. It is TGIF, you made it to the weekend. I am happy for you, I'm proud of you. Today is going to be a beautiful and a lovely day. I hope today goes by fast if you're off on the weekends. Woo, exciting. (laughs) It's almost summertime. Uh, I can't wait, I can't wait. It's a beautiful day today. I thank God that he opened my eyes this morning. I thank God that he put me in your path that we may learn something together, that we may grow together, that we may apply God's word in a life-changing way. We may apply God's word in a simple, in a simple, easy way to understand so you can apply it to your lives and you can be that much better for it at the end of this video. I thank you for being here. You know, <coughs> recently I put, I put uh, uh, night lights in the hallways all throughout the house, in the living room, and whenever the, it gets dark, those lights automatically turn on because at nighttime, when I go to get up to use the restroom, I have to get some water, I can't see anything. And it's a, it's a possible I could hurt myself and I can, uh, uh, something could happen and this could be dangerous. And so I need those lights to guide me. And, and so uh, I rely on those lights to guide me. And, I, and, and so if you haven't figured it out, today is a guiding edition of coffee Mm-mm-mm. with Christ. <laughs> Thank you for being here again. Let's go to God's Word. God's Word is a life-changing Word. God's Word is a living Word. God's Word, we're going we're gonna to grow. We're going to build upon it this morning. And not only that, we're going to be able to understand it, to apply it to our lives, that we may learn from and be that much better after this video. Amen. Amen. This video... This uh, scripture takes place uh, whenever God's people, the Israelites, were enslaved in Egypt. And God said, you know, it's time to get my people out of there. And and so he used Moses and said, tell the Pharaoh to let my people go. And so the Pharaoh did it and God caused some things to happen. And the Israelites were able to escape, but they found themselves in the wilderness not knowing where to go or what to do. They were wandering and it was dark and the daytime is still, it was hot and they were wandering around. And God said, you know what? He did this in Exodus 13, 21 and 22. By the day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of a cloud to guide them on their way. And by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or by night. Amen. What a wonderful two verses that is, because it's 13, 21, and 22 of Exodus. That's a beautiful, wonderful verse, because God had the people do something challenging. God had his people step out in faith and trust in him. And God, whenever he did that, he didn't just say, I'm going to leave you alone now. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that. No, God, it says here, God would let them by day in a cloud and by night in a fire. Amen. God was the leading way. He was in front of them. He was in charge of them. He said, thank you for stepping out in faith, knowing that you're going to have to do something challenging, knowing that you're going to have to do something hard. But don't you worry, because I'm going to be in front of you the whole time, leading you by day and by night. Wow, what a wonderful verse shows God's love, God's bravery, God's provision. Amen. What is God calling you to do that is challenging? What is God calling you to do right now, calling you to go through that is rough? You may be in the valleys right now. God is calling you to do some things. God wants you to have faith in him. And when you're stepping out and doing all these challenging things, you're going through this rough time. God tells us here that don't you worry. I'm going to lead the way. Follow me where I want you to go. God's not just pointing and say, oh, oh, down yonder. I want you to go down yonder over there. And then I want you to go down yonder over there. No, God's saying, come on, follow me. And so if God is leading you through some difficult situations or difficult times and you're finding yourself in a rough place, know that God wants you to follow him by day and by night. He never sleeps when it comes to 
taking care of us. What a wonderful message. I pray that you apply it to your lives, whatever it is, trust in God, knowing that he's just not pointing you, but he's guiding you. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to this message. I pray that it affects you. I pray that you share it. I thank you so much. God willing, I will be here Monday on a Monday edition of Coffee with Christ.